Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nightingale in Japan. In this episode I'll be touring around Kushiro in Hokkaido, Japan, which is home to the famous and endangered Japanese red-crowned crane. Along the way I'll be stopping at various crane-themed roadside stations, an art museum that hosts the works of the wetland painter Sasaki Eisho, a newly established craft brewery, and even the Kushiro Marsh Observatory. If you stick around, you'll even witness a special appearance. Enjoy! さん、ちょっと笑顔を取らせていただきたいというご指摘がありましたので、ここでよく許可いたしました。ありがとうございます。はい。オッケー。皆さん、おはようございます。おはようございます。元気ですか？元気です。いいな。ありがとう。Akan Marsha, Marsha of Akan Shopping Mall, very famous shopping mall in Akan Michinoeki. Thank you. 
はようございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。おカシロシツーガンアートミュージアム、オープンシンス2013、セレブレイツ・サザキエイショウ、The Wetlands Artist from Eastern Hokkaido。His art, including oil and watercolor paintings, drawings and fish prints, is all about biological life and evokes deep emotions. With about 600 pieces, the museum offers a permanent collection and change in exhibitions every six months. It's a must visit for art and nature enthusiasts in Hokkaido. えっと、ビデオ。あ、すむあ、いいね。な、大丈夫。大丈夫。えっと、スキー。え、天気スキー。ちょっとデブ、そう、大丈夫。さあ、に、い、ゆ、ち、く、に、ち、わ。ないですか。でもなんかそんなような感じですね。東南アジアって割とジュニアリスも甘い。ああ、そうですね。はい。かもしれないです。<笑>まさ。So we're currently at an old school that was converted into the brewery, as you can see, brasserie not. Let's go and take a look.
are inside the Brasserie Not Brewery. And that's the floor plan. actual beer section. As you can see it's quite busy at the moment. Oh wow. That one tastes like sparkling wine. Oh my desk. Normally I don't like IPA, but after trying your IPA, you've changed my mind. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you. I was really oishi. Arigato. So the lady was saying that we first need to put olive oil on the plate, like so. 
and drip around my trousers at the same time. And then from there, I added salt to the bread and I also dunked it into the olive oil. He did that, you mess. already a bread fiend anyway so this is very nice I don't I think I put too much salt on the bread a bit salty and uh, now we're having the next plate let's have a look at this that looks really good various different types of cheese pumpkin looks like radish green beans bits of cucumber and some sort of sauce with petals on it as well If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. It'll mean the world to me and will help the channel grow. I would also love it if you shared your comments on the video so I can make more videos that you'll enjoy. So I just got given a glass of wine. It's an Austrian wine apparently. Come by. It's a sparkling wine, very nice. So I just uh, received a second glass of wine, and this time it's a red. It's a French wine, but it was made in Japan, and I'm much more of a red wine person, and this is fantastic. At least it smells fantastic, I haven't tasted it yet, but I'll let you know now. Oh, wow. There was one wine in Australia that was my favourite in the past, but this uh, gives it a bit of a run for his money. It's really nice. And next on the menu is a pork stew or butter stew. Okay, I don't know if this was lost in translation. The lady told us that the cake is called white mold cheesecake. So I'm a tiny bit scared, but honestly, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> white mold. Okay, I've just taken a first bite and now I understand what they meant by white mold cheese. It's basically like granny's cheese, but in cheesecake form. <laughs> These cookies are so cute. So we're at the National Park now, the National Wetlands, having a very brief look. We literally had 10 minutes inside the observatory to remain on schedule. I managed to find some taxidermy red crane. 
At this point, I was going to take a photo of anything, as I felt let down that I hadn't seen any live cranes. What you can see now is the wetlands, or otherwise marshland, which is home to the Red Crane, and probably the Midgazolum. The Japanese Red Crown Crane, or Tancho, holds a special place in Japanese culture, symbolising good fortune, fidelity and happiness. This iconic bird is even associated with successful marriages. Its significance goes beyond Japan as it's revered in neighbouring China, representing longevity and fidelity. However, habitat loss remains a significant challenge for these cranes. Wetland destruction and human activities threaten their homes. By exploring Japan's wetlands and observing the Tancho, we appreciate its cultural and ecological importance. Conservation is vital to protect this majestic bird and the wetlands it calls home. I was still anxious that I had not been able to record any live cranes for the purpose of this video. Fortunately, the next day, after finishing up, and Aki was taking me home from the Ikeda Great Picking event, Aki spotted some cranes just chilling in the river near my mother-in-law's house. We quickly swung the car around, and I ran onto a bridge over the river, and I finally managed to take a picture of the Red Crown Crane. Mr. and Mrs. Crane had finally made an appearance. Salmon. A salmon? The dog that <clears throat> carry it. This is Koitoi Sinso. Uh, today is very fine weather. Normal. Hi, the more uh, big wave and more activity in the Pacific Ocean. But now, but today it is silent Pacific Ocean. Nice atmosphere. Yeah, it is gorgeous. This is Aki's birthplace. It was Aki's birthday the other day as well. Yeah. My. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It makes me think of Final Fantasy X a tiny bit. Final Fantasy X. Nice. This is where to die. 
Chicken. Kitchen. <laughs> chicken kitchen. <laughs> Smoky. Uh, because this is a seaside road station, there's much more emphasis on seafood products. Bus driver San, Arigato. Hi, at all Nightingale in Japan. In Japan yeah. Hi, 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 Arigato. And because it's a seaside road station, the theme is squid. So these two little squid characters. Kawaii. Fresh crab. Oh, fresh crab. <laughs> Apparently there's fresh crab in here. Cool. And I guess this is the before and after. One of the things I like about Japan as well is the gorgeous pottery they have. Some of the teal colours, like these. I love these colours. On oh, the inside of this one as well. So gorgeous. I think the ones that stick out to me the most would be this one. This one as is similar to something I have in my house. And there's the two characters again. Dressed up in the Halloween theme. So, today's been an awesome day and I'm really appreciative of it. And now we're heading home to Ikirachao. Oui, very home. Such a good day. Thank you for look. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Aki. It's been awesome. Thank you for inviting me. Thank and you. hopefully we'll go on more adventures. Nice day. Fine. Thank you. Take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs> and of course, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and I'd love to hear some comments from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.